don't know about you, but I am always learning new stuff in Minecraft. And well, today, hopefully I will be learning a lot. Now, I don't really have any of your standard mob farms on this server. I do have an XP farm though. I guess I should say I don't have any of your standard like early game hostile mob farms because this one is a wither skeleton farm. It's not exactly piddly as far as rates go. And as you can see, I've amassed a lot of skulls. That is a solid shulker full of skulls. But here's the thing. I have this little monster. I did not make this one. Um, Ducky made it in exchange for access to my wither skelly farm. So I have full access to this. As you can see, I already have a bunch of nether stars that are just kind of stashed away here. And yeah, what this thing is, is it is a wither killing chamber. I'm pretty sure the capacity on this one is for about 4,000 withers. Uh, yeah, yeah, four, 4,000. And here's the thing, a shulker box of wither skeleton skulls isn't even 600 withers. All right, you ready to see how this works? I'm going to run a replay mod recording and not talk because it gets so loud. I promise I will dial back the volume for you guys, but still. We flip this on, we start getting soul sand, and there we go. And just like that, we have another half a stack of nether stars. And like, I barely ran that. You, I could have run it for so much longer, obviously. Uh, we have enough for almost 10 stacks of nether stars, but you see why I want a faster, more effective whiskey farm. Here's the thing. Nobody sells beacons on the server at the moment. I am the only supplier of skulls at the moment. Um, and that, that's really only through my, uh, bargain barrel in my potion ingredient shop where I just kind of sell junk every once in a while and sometimes it's good junk. So we want a better, better wither skelly farm, but I do not want to do the manual wither rose farming that I did for all the wither roses that are currently in there. Yeah, we have, we have three stacks of nether stars in our hostile mob storage. We're great. We're going to fill every slot because I love that. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm on a power trip right now, you guys. All right. Well, the, the, the people needed beacons. I have provided beacons. Yay. In order to solve our wither rose problem so that we can solve our wither skelly skull problem so we can solve our wither, ro our, well, our, we don't really have a wither problem. Um, we need to build a wither rose farm. Finally, I've never done one. Alrighty, we are all packed up and ready to head out to the end. And right over here is, oh, I don't know where my spawn is set. Hmm. All right, so now we just need to choose a direction in which to go, and it doesn't really matter. You know what? We're, 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 we're going... We're going with yield pumpkin... Hmm. Give me a second. There we go. That's more like it. All right. And what direction are we going? This way is south. Oh yeah, this uh, spot. I ended up falling out of that before. You know what I forgot? Yeah, I, I need more rockets. I need more rockets. Ah, okay. Should we go south? Or should we go another direction? Cause I think that is the, the end, or like the gateway I have gone through before. Like almost every single time. I think I'm going to go ahead and go north. That one just beckoned to me, so that's where we're going. Oh, this one's all blocked off. Interesting. I'll go through the one with more scaffolding. Oh, jeez. Uh, not okay. What the? I don't like this one. This one does not have good vibes. We're going back. You gotta, you gotta have good vibes. 
Who knew picking picking a portal is the hardest part of this whole thing? I think I'm gonna go out kind of the northeast way because there's something kind of cool there. Boop. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. All right, so this is a really cool area. Oh yeah. So our lovely friend Sam has built a bunch of maps, color block maps. So what I want to do is I want to find an area kind of close by because Sam is where we get all of our dyes and flowers and things. And so I think it would be great if we set up the Wither Rose Farm near their color map spot so that they have access to that and potentially black dye. I'm not sure if they actually have a squid farm or not. I don't think they do. Well, there's a spot with one gateway. Anything close? Oh, yes! This is... Oh, perfection! And the triply nice thing about this thing is, is this spot is it's not far from a gateway that teleports you into the outer islands. So first things first, we're gonna do something kind of fun that I've never done before. We're gonna... There we go. No! There we go. So I'm using a design by Strom. He doesn't have a full tutorial, but he does have a video showcasing it and explaining the few things that are actually like sticky to do. All right, well, I think I'm gonna continue just working along in this area and when I am ready to, you know, do actual interesting stuff, I'll bring you guys back. How about that? All right, it is late at night and it is probably unwise for me to be doing this when I'm starting to get tired, but we're gonna do it anyways. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is summon an Endermite. Oh, and we need to have a name tag ready to go. He's just gonna get another name tag of more dumb since that's what we have. Um, and this means throwing a lot of ender pearls, which is going to be interesting. Oh, there he is. Oh, gosh dang it. That went well. Little guy needs a name tag. There we go. Excellent. How's that? I'm not nervous about this at all. I have never ever done any sort of wither cage. It is time and we need to be ready to just move. Oh, there it is. Which means he doesn't even see the chicken. I'm not sure how to best go about this, actually. The real question is, are we hitting him? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. We got this! Yeah! Look at us! There you go. Well done. Okay, doing this again. Let's see what problems await us this time. He's not locking onto the chicken at all. Is it because it's behind the trap door? Did I do those wrong? I might have done those wrong. Is the third time actually the charm? Is the question now. Uh, th the chicken's dead. Of course the chicken's dead. Oh my good lord. You, sir are officially a menace. My guy. I think we need to move our wither spot down, or our enderman spot down by like two. I will be back. No time will pass for you. Time will pass for me, hopefully in sleep. All right, it is later another time and we need to go back what did what did we need to do now 
I don't remember if last night we actually murdered him or not. Let's see if a health bar pops up. Ah, he is there. There he is. Yeah, okay, perfect. So we should be able to let them fall there. Excellent. There it is. Let's look down here. The chicken's dead. The chicken's dead and now they're despawn. Ah, okay. Oh, jeez. All right, <clears throat> that happened. I will say I'm a lot less nervous about the wither at this point because like, we've got a good system going. There we go, nice. All right, let's see. Oh, oh, they're teleporting up. But hey! It's working, it's working! That column is gonna get broken. This would go faster if they were down to like a one hit kind of kill. They wouldn't be teleporting up here. Good gravy. But for my first try, my first time trying something like this, I'm not mad about it. I lied, I can't leave it. So here's what's up. We've extended the drop shoot so that now they're actually dropping down to a one hit kill. And that does mean we had to move the entire platform up. And let's take a peek at the storage room. I realized partway through this that I wanted to 100% this project, no cutting corners or anything like that. So this storage room comes with sleek shine and all the bells and whistles. We've got shulker loaders and loose storage for both item types. And we have a switch to toggle the shulker loaders on versus off. I had 11 shulkers of wither roses in here from about three hours of AFK, but I have already taken some back. Drum's video is linked in the description, but now let's put these roses to work into the next project. I don't think I reset my spawn because I had set it for something earlier today. Oops. Yep, that is exactly what happened. Well, it's a good time to go check on our beacon stock. It's been a couple of days, so. All right, beacons. Oh my lord. I think. I, I think we may have found our money maker. Jeez. Anyways, up to the wither skeletons. If we kind of zoop up here, we can see what the inside of the actual like farm, the spawning area looks like. It is not huge, but it's it's decent. Um, it's a radius of 16, so the wither skellies spawn in. They see the iron golems. They drop down. All right. Easy peasy. Um, the one thing is, we have a double crossroads. Um, actually, does, does this one count as a crossroad? It, it doesn't really matter because there was a crossroad like here-ish. So basically what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to expand these um, and have two drop shoots with iron golems in them and then we're going to drop pump or like dispense pumpkins onto their heads so i've got a lot of work to do to just kind of build or like tear parts of it down build it back up but while you all wait for me to get my act together i have a quick little adventure learning experience that we went on recently um, because when I was building banners last episode, I realized that I was missing two banner patterns. The enchanted golden apple one, which I did have some of, and the creeper banner pattern. So obviously, we needed to play with charged creepers. Have fun with that, and I'll see you over here in a little while. One thing I've realized is that I just don't have all of the banner patterns, and one that is particularly missing is the creeper head one which means our tiny little creeper farm is once again a useful thing for us that we should work with 
Oh my goodness, if this is a thunderstorm, I'm gonna be sad. But I don't think it is. That doesn't look like a thunderstorm. Oh, we've got a creeper down there already. Nice. Okay. So the next step for this situation is we're gonna need to take our creepers on a little bit of a joy ride. I told the chat, heads up, I'm looking for a thunderstorm. And Racer goes, and I'm looking for the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Uh, it is, it is very hard to get a thunderstorm on this server. Now, let's do a quick little experiment with a redstone torch just to make sure that this little setup works. So we take this away and we get, okay, those power, that does not, but I think we can just solve that with a little bit of that. All right, let's go ahead and try this minecartingness now out. Excellent perfection. Ooh, I can actually shoot it. I can shoot it. We can do this long distance. Excellent. And now he's just there. Nice. There we go. Ha ha ha. Look at me go. Ah! How do you see me? And then when we push that button, down he goes. Excellent. All right. Earlier D definitely had the right idea. And now we've actually accomplished it. All right. We're getting close to cramming. So. We should have 20, 20, that's a nice round number. 20 little creepery guys in there with their little name tags waiting for their heads to be blown off. Oh God, that's morbid. And whoever shows up next is our lucky charged creeper eventually, someday. <laughs> We end up with a creeper? We do. Oh, good lord. That's a lot of creepers. I only needed one of you. Okay. And this fine gentleman gets to sit there in a cave of his own making. This is not the most safe AFK position, but we'll hang out here. I am not going to... Oh my goodness. I am not going to leave... Uh, my actual recording running, but I will leave a replay mod recording running, and when he gets lightninged, we should hopefully all see it. You guys, you guys have barely been away. Gotta make sure I'm actually- There it is! There he is! Oh goodness, he's on fire. That's not great. Oh crap, he can- he can see me. It did not send him running. Ah! No, he's gone! No! No! Come on, creepers. Come on, don't, don't, don't disappoint me now. Ah! No, I don't need phantoms right now. Okay, we've got a couple of these guys. All right, we go. There we go. Let's get it before. Why? Ah, he's gonna die again. Gosh dang it. What is happening? Did it? Can't do this, not with the, not with the, not with them. Why, why is it? Oh, ow, ow. Okay, there he is. Oh, it takes him out of the mine cart. Oh dear, okay. Let's see. Gosh, dang it. Mm. 
Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Uh, he should bounce back now. Cool. I didn't realize it was going to break the minecart. Then... We... No. Can we get him through the corner there? All right, let's see if we got anything. Oh my goodness, we got creeper heads! Or one. All right, well now, I think, how do we make banner patterns? I don't know how we actually make them. And I made one, I made one with the daisy, or the oxide daisy. Maybe the wiki can help us, and I'm definitely gonna try to get more charged creepers and charged creeper heads. So creeper charge, just a single piece of paper plus the creeper head. Easy peasy. There we go, there's the creeper charge pattern and I don't have room in here for, for it currently. I definitely need to add some storage space around this banner area because it gets taken up real quick. And we have two enchanted golden apples plus one that's in my memory box because that was the first one I ever found. We're gonna go ahead and make the the thing banner pattern as well because there's just a lot of cool stuff you can do with the thing banner pattern. Well, that means we have all six banner patterns, which is great um, for, you know, something that I was totally just doing for fun one evening when I didn't want to think about anything and then just, okay. You know, it's great. I am really enjoying the banner things and it got us doing something that I haven't done before. Well, the moral of that story was uh, if you use a charged creeper to get mob heads, um, they only drop one mob head no matter how many mobs they actually kill. So, uh, yeah, should have checked the wiki first. It's, it's, it's fine, but as you can see, we've done a little bit of work down here, and this is our new way down to the Skelly Farm. So if we come all the way down here, this is our storage room and killing chamber. Um, complete with activation for the thing that we need to add still. Um, but the storage room has Skelly Skulls here. Um, bones in here, this side is shulkers, this side is loose storage, and then same thing with coal here, shulker, and then loose storage. For our own safety, we're going to free cam up into the farm. So as you can see, we now have two drop shoots with iron golems, and we have expanded to cover the entire three crossroads. Currently, it's all lit up. I still need to add the wither roses, but other than that, this area should be functional. Um, we have some glass on the outside, which is cool. Um, so, three layers deep still. Everything is lined in slabs now instead of carpet because in a shocking turn of events, carpet is terrible spawn proofing in the nether. But now we are in need of a ton of carved pumpkins. And, well, we have the pumpkins, thanks to the wonderful eraser. We, we, we just need to carve them. So, uh, this should be fun. I mean, I love hanging out here. I think this is a great place to do it. So. I'm gonna get carving these pumpkins and we'll time lapse those and then we'll move into a time lapse of wither rosing the farm up and then we'll see how this all works. Alright, my friends, it is a little noisier than I originally intended, but it is working quite well already. 
We still need to add our pumpkins into the system, but first let's take a look at how everything works. So obviously we've already seen the spawning area. Oh, come on, my guy. The farthest corner you could. I mean, technically that's still 16. He should be able to just trick. What the heck? My mans. And then they drop down. And right up in here is where we're going to put our pumpkins, if we can see it. And that comes from a dropper chain. So it gets recycled from our, our item filter area. So then they drop down here where they get shuffled into the center there. And as you can see, we end up with a little bit of a, oh goodness, I cannot center my camera. We end up with a little bit of a yeeting system. And some of them get a little stuck and then get bumped by the next guys that come through. But it fills up our middle section there so fast. Um, we still have the iron golem, which does help clear this pathway out a little bit. So it's still not perfect, but it's way better than it was with lava streams, which is what I tried first. Shout out to Pearl for staying up way too late with me one night to work on the redstone for this. But as you can see, they pour in a lot more consistently than they did before. And we have one, two, three, four shulkers of carved pumpkins. What you guys saw in the time lapse was about one and a half of these shulkers. So yeah, I spent a long time carving pumpkins. And if we yeet our way right up in here, we can start anyways, filling up these guys. All right. Don't mind my super messy service pathways through here. Oh, good gravy. And this switch here turns our pumpkining off. The oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> it's the pearl, speaking of. <laughs> Anyways, that turns our pumpkin situation on. And, well, our pumpkin situation isn't necessarily the most reliable system. But, oh, hey, they're getting pumpkin way more than they were in creative. That is, that is fantastic. So, just to recap, pumpkins... Putting pumpkins on their head takes them out of the mob cap. Uh, which means that more can spawn faster. Ah, oh, man. And guys, like, this, I already have this just from a couple of, like, AFK hours. Like, not, not a ton of time. And I already have this much in here. And now we've got pumpkins and they're just not showing up anymore because... Well, I, I'm just, I'm delighted. <laughs> There's the pearl. <laughs> I, I'm delighted with this. I love this. This is fantastic. It's clearly no 250 skulls a minute madness that some people make happen. And this is all me. No other designs were used in the making of this farm other than, other than the shulker loader. Uh, so, I think you all know what needs to happen now. All right. Well, when Pearl gets up here, we're going to take out a lot of withers. This was a fun episode to work on. Lots of cool farm stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll get back to building in the next one, and I'll see you there. Bye!
All right, how many was that? Almost nine and a half stacks. Almost 640. What is that, like 610? <laughs> My armor's in rough shape. Pearl's is worse. But you know what we can do to fix that? 